So this is a problem about a bug that is hovering in the air. And there is a gust of wind that exerts a force 4.0 in the I di direction minus 6.0 in the j direction times 10 to the negative 2 newtons and it asks us how much work is done by the wind as the bug undergoes the displacement delta r 2.0 in the i direction minus 2.0 in the j direction meters how much work well the definition of work is integral of f dot dr And the force is constant. So then it's just force dot integral of dr. And the integral of dr is r. And evaluated from r initial to r final. So we can call that. delta r, and these are vector quantities. So we just have to take the dot product of f dot delta r. And if you remember the definition of the dot product, a dot b is magnitude of a, magnitude of B cosine of the angle between them doesn't look very useful. This is also equal to AX BX plus AY BY plus more stuff that you might have over there. So you just have to multiply. The, the appropriate components for each vector. So the work is 4.0 in the i direction times 2.0 in the i direction plus negative. 6.0 in the j direction times negative 2.0 in the j direction. They don't have the direction anymore, they're just the components. But this is x, this is y. So this is 8, and minus and minus, that's plus. So 12, so the work is 20.0, and where are the units? Newton times meter, Newton times meter, so that's equal to joules. So the work done is uh, 20 joules, except that we have these times 10 to the negative 2. So that is 0.2.
good you have that there. And you know that's more appropriate for for a bug. It's not going to have a lot of um, it's not going to require a lot of force to move. What is the bug's speed at the end of this displacement, assuming that the speed is due entirely due to the wind? Well, the other cool thing about work is that work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. And the kinetic energy one half of m v squared so if we want the velocity that's twice the work divided by the mass square root of that so that's 0 0.2 joules divided by the mass was 45 grams, 0 0.045 kilograms, pretty heavy bug. Screw of that. It's uh, 2.1 uh, meters per second. Let's make sure that the units are correct. Joules is Newton times meter divided by kilogram. Newton is kilogram meter over second squared times this meter over kilogram. So we move this one over here. We get rid of the kilograms. We take the square root we get meters per second. Actually, this is two over here. Two times 0 0.2. It's not 2.1, it's 2.2 2 times 2.98 meters per second. And can you see that last number? Yep, you can see it. So part one, I mean part, uh, part A and part B. And that's it. All right, thanks.